Hello and welcome, my name is Prue or Prue LaRue and today I'm doing the geeky makeup tag. I was tagged by the creator, my beautiful friend Alex the Alchemist. If you've not checked out already, you really should. She's an opinionated colourful makeup lover and I really enjoy watching her channel. I'll have her link down below plus the OG tag and I'm going to answer some questions. What has held me off from doing this tag is question number one, which is what is your favourite fandom? And question two, which is, what fandom are you just getting into? For me, I find fandoms an intimidating and scary experience. I regularly tend to disagree with people's opinions about stuff, and I just see stuff my own way, and that's chill. I'm cool being in my own lane, my friends understand me, and I find when I go online, I'm regularly misinterpreted. And... I just, I struggle with writing paragraphs. I'm very straight to the point. So I tend to stay away from most fandoms. If I am in any fandom, it's got to be like the TV show Revenge. I don't know. Or Gossip Girl. But I don't know. To me, a fandom, a community of people gathered together. So like you're in a Facebook group or you're, I don't know, like you're in a subreddit posting about it quite frequently. I tend to just stay away from that sort of stuff. I find it's very easy to misinterpret what I'm trying to say and it's just not worth it. I'm happy enjoying things as I like them and rarely do I really want to get more in depth with it unless I know someone in real life who I can talk to about it. And I, when it comes to things that I like, mostly TV shows are my genre. I like reading what people think but I rarely like contributing because I just, I tend to not agree with what everyone else thinks. So let's just skip one and two. I'm sorry, Alex. And let's do three. What is your favorite nerdy makeup collaboration? That's gonna be the Pac-Man Wet n Wild collection. That looked wild. I loved the look of it. I love seeing it, what everyone was doing with it. And it just looked really fun. And I'm like a Pac-Man fan through and through. Definitely my favorite collab that we saw come out so far this year. And I'm excited that hopefully maybe it will come to Australia, but I don't know. Fingers crossed. What is your least favourite nerdy makeup collection? It's got to be the Urban Decay times Game of Thrones collection. I did like the look of it initially and I was really keen on getting an eyeliner from it but it was just so difficult to get in Australia. It was released in on Mecca, uh, which I like Mecca is one of our website, our makeup websites here and it went live at 7am and was pretty much sold out by 7.30am. And I was interested in maybe getting the palette but I just didn't like the colours enough. I don't know. The amount of hype behind it just wasn't that good. And I think they would have done well to have done like... They've got for the on the run these little mini palettes. And do one for each of the houses. Or do like a White Walker inspired one. And have the smaller palettes. Instead of having the that really big one. That they tried to put all the different coloured stories in and just failed at. I don't know. Let me know what you think and also just my love for Game of Thrones died with the end of the season so it is what it is. Uh, so what would be your dream nerdy makeup collab? This is my actual, my second round of filming this. My dream nerdy makeup collab has got to be Mighty Boosh and like anyone. I love Mighty Boosh. It's one of my favourite TV shows of all time. I don't recommend it to everyone because it's a bit out there but I love it. And I would love to see an eyeshadow palette from Mighty Boosh. It could be really fun and creative and colourful. I think it would do well. Yeah, I don't even know what brand would go well with doing an eyeshadow palette like that. But I think it could be really fun. Favourite nerdy YouTuber. Can be makeup related or not. Alright, so I just had to look up what is a nerd on Google. And it says a single-minded expert in a particular technical field. So I'm going to apply that. Um, my favourite like YouTube channel that's really in depth on one topic it's got to be Ants Canada. That dude really loves Ants. He's like a full ant nerd. But it is fun to watch. There are some good videos. I'll link one of my favorites down below. I don't know which one I'll choose yet. But if you're interested in watching about Ants like it's good but I mean I don't even understand why I watch it sometimes. I don't know. It's a struggle. TV movie character whose makeup you admire. I just find that there isn't that much female makeup or makeup in general that is really well done on TV and usually if someone's wearing colourful makeup it's not well done. 
it's like smeared on as like part of their grungy aesthetic. I think I really loved in Russian Doll Natasha Leon's makeup. It was very flawless and beautiful, but it wasn't makeup that I aspire to wear. Um, I've not yet found that. And like even like I Zombie, I was watching that the other day and like her eyeshadow, ugh, it's not good. I'm not sure if it's meant to be eyeshadow or if it's actually meant to be like part of her zombie aesthetic. I'm very confused. Let me know what you think. Uh, but yeah, usually when you see colourful makeup on TV it's more like a statement than it is well done and just part of someone's personality that they wear colourful makeup and it's no big deal. Give us a niche recommendation. Number eight. Um, can we book series? Let's give you like three because it's entertaining to me. Uh, so a book series I just read was the Harbinger series from Jeffrey. I've already forgotten. Jeffrey Wheeler. Um, it's a story about, I don't know, like there's like bloody floating palaces, kingdoms, and then there's the slums down there and about overcoming your own fears and allowing yourself to love. There's like some extra spy stuff in there. It's a five book series. It's all out. It's pretty good. TV show series, I would love it if anyone would ever watch Eureka or Warehouse 13. Those were two of my OG favorite sci-fi TV shows that I was obsessed with. Let me know if you've seen them because you are like my people. So Eureka is about a town where they relocated the world's geniuses into it and there is like amazing innovation and total chaos. It's a great series. I really loved it. And Warehouse 13 is a show about essentially like magical objects uh, that go loose in society. So there's like one episode where it's the like Cleopatra's comb and all the people end up admiring this one person who's using the comb. Or there's Lewis Carroll's mirror, his teacup set. His teacup set, which is like it's like an LSD trip essentially, but it's pretty good. I really enjoyed it. The final episode is like one of the worst I think I've ever seen because it just, it was bizarre. Anyway, let me know if you have seen or read those niche recommendations, um, what you think of them. If you think I'm right or wrong, I'd love to know. Anyway, thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you so much to Alex for tagging me in this tag. I'll spread the tag love in the description bar below. Don't feel any pressure to do the tag if you don't want to do the tag. It's okay. <laughs> and um, yeah. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed hearing my answers and maybe learning a little bit more about me. I absolutely appreciate that you decided to stop by today. Thank you so much. Mwah.